Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth's Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to be making one of my moon soaps using this fragrance. It's called Sparkling Winter Solstice from Crafter's Choice, which is Wholesale Supplies Plus. Oh, it smells nice. It's just, it's sparkling. <laughs> it really does. It has like a minty freshness to it. It's very pretty. First off, I have to make my moon embeds. And so I'm going to be using my two inch PVC here and I just have a flexible, um, cutting board liner that I've cut to the right size and then my little plug that I use which is uh, just these little ramekin cups and I put a little bit of melt and pour soap in the bottom and plunk this in and it seals it off and it makes a wonderful um, leak proof seal for my embeds. So I've got my embeds off to the side uh, for my moon colors today. I'm going to try something new. I haven't done this yet. I'm going to use um, Silver Mist from Nurture Soap and uh, shimmer gold mica from nurture soap and these are going to be my moon colors because I want them to just be sort of I don't know just really swirly and pretty and then for the night sky behind the moon normally I do an activated charcoal in my moon soaps and I wanted to try something different today so I'm going to be using this black pearl mica from nurture which is beautiful it's a shimmery black with a stormy blue from brambleberry I want to do a swirl for the night sky. Um, so we'll make the moon embeds today, get those set overnight, unmold them tomorrow, and then make the base. It's a two-day process to get this set and ready to go. Uh, this is going to be an aloe vera soap. So um, I'm going to get everything pulled together, get my hair pulled back, and let's make some moon embeds for our winter solstice soap. So I've got all of my oils and lye solution prepped and ready for our winter solstice soap. Uh, what I did was I made the whole batch of my liquid oils and my whole batch of lye and I split everything in half because it's almost, by the time I get done with three of these molds, it's almost a 50-50 split. I'll have a little extra. But anyway, this is half of my oils and butters here that has kale and clay, colloidal oats, the fragrance, that's what's going on in here. Over here is my aloe vera lye solution that has uh, tussle silk fibers and sodium lactate. So I'm going to hand stir this together and then we'll split off for our moon embed colors and let these kind of go to sleep overnight and then we will get going on the base tomorrow, but uh, two-step process. So the equation for me, so when you're doing soap and you're trying to figure out how much to use, what I like to do is um, I take my molds here and I fill them with water on the scale and weigh out how much is actually in there. Uh, so I have a good ballpark of what I need to go for. And uh, my base recipe that fills my triple tall skinny mold from Workshop Heritage, which I love by the way, that is the mold that I use in most of my videos. Um, when I split that in half, it's about the circumference of the moon embeds is going to take up about half of the space and the other half is going to be the surrounding sky. So it works out pretty perfect for um, my volumes, which I'm glad about. But I'm um, really loving my workshop heritage molds, I got to say. So if you're looking for a soap mold, can't recommend them enough. They have great customer service. The molds are fantastic, really sturdy. And so it's been a good purchase. So glad I got them and I will continue to buy molds from them. Uh, and I am not an affiliate, I purchased my mold, and so <laughs> this is not a paid advertisement, this is just my opinion, so there it is. <laughs> All right, I'm just hand stirring to emulsion, and I'm gonna split this in about half, I think, and we'll do half of that uh, um, shimmer gold and half of the silver mist. And I'm just hoping to get sort of a bright, you know, shimmery moon look. I went for a walk, oh, I'm spilling, sorry. I went for a walk this morning, um, and today as I'm filming this, it's November 2nd. <laughs> so by the time you see this, it's gonna be far beyond that date. But um, it was a full moon last night, and the moon was up in the morning sky, and it was gorgeous. I just, a morning moon is, uh, there's something just beautiful about it. The whole sky was blue, and the moon was there, very kind of, you know, wispy looking as it is in the morning, and it was beautiful. So I don't know if I'm going for a morning moon, but I just made me think of these colors. I thought it was gorgeous. So let's do our shimmer gold mica over here, and... 
gorgeous. And this is kind of a purplish lavender hue in the silver mist. Very, I think it's just kind of dreamy and pretty. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and whisk these in until I get a feel for this fragrance and see if it's gonna speed on me. If I need to throw my stick blender in there, I will, but I may just whisk. Let's just do this and see how it goes. It's the next day and it's time to unmold our little moon embeds. And uh, this got pretty thick. Okay, so you just pop the bottoms off and um, here's the melt and pour ring around and I just save that and then there's a little plug there and you push and it comes right out. So easy to unmold these. Pretty low stress, which I like. Um, I've had some uh, silicone or some PVC molds that I have out just been really stressful getting it out of the mold and then sometimes if you just push whoop, there you go the top pops off and there's my moon embed look at those colors I cannot wait to see the slice of these so let's get the rest of these unmolded and then we'll move on with the base part all right it's the next day and of course I've got my moon embeds all unmolded and ready to go cut down to size uh, and it's cold in my basement. I am soaping at a colder temperature than I'm used to. It's about 70 degrees down here, and that's what my lye and soap is at. And this uh, went a little fast on me for the moon embed, so <laughs> we're kind of going along here. This is a little risky, but fragrance is already in here. Uh, we're going to just hand stir this and whisk in our colors, and hopefully it won't go crazy fast, and we will get this in the mold and everything will be okay. Yikes, I'm hoping. I um, don't normally soap quite this cold. Normally when I soap, it's about 80 to 85 degrees, um, but this sat overnight, and so my basement is nice and chilly, whoops, which I love. I'm spilling out the end of my thing here. Let's get that, all right. So just going for emulsification and then we're going to split off here for our colors. I just want a little bit of that stormy blue for a wisp. The majority of this is going to be that black pearl which is so pretty. There we go. That'll be good. I'm going to pull this out. Okay, here's our stormy blue. Here is our gorgeous black pearl there and we will whisk away and get it pouring. I don't want to mess around. This is not a slow moving fragrance. It's um, medium fast I would say. Proceed with caution. It's worth it. It smells fantastic but this is not a slow moving fragrance. Thank you. 
All right, it's the next day. It's been about 24 hours. And here is our sparkling winter solstice. And I wanted to read the description of the fragrance. It says it's a seasonal blend of fresh pine needles, spicy cinnamon, vanilla, and cedar wood. Well, it just smells great to me. So <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. So here is the look the next day. A little bit of sparkly, sort of a charcoal-y blue. I'm excited to see how this came out on the inside. Uh, one of my moon beds kind of was migrating, so I'm hoping I lined them up proper, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to get in here and see. So one of the fun things about soap is you never know till it's all done. <laughs> Let's get into these wonderful winter solstice bars. They do smell really nice today, very um, fresh and sparkly. Oh, I'm loving those moons. Those colors are beautiful. And I like this sort of charcoal-y, um, sort of the bluish gray sky. I'm very happy with these. They're really pretty. Very just understated. They smell great. There's not a lot going on other than the moon swirl as we get into these to see how that came out. It was just that in the pot swirl as we poured down the column molds. So that's really going to be the only difference on each of these. A little bit of wispy swirls, but not much to note. Really pretty. Winter solstice. <laughs> 